Saturday and Sunday, the Triple Crown Pavilion in J-Town will be the center of Louisville's Lego community. The Louisville Brick Convention will feature hands-on ex exhibits of the hobby as well as a chance to meet some of your favorite creators. This is always really cool. Our Sam Carter is live at the Triple Crown Pavilion with more. Good morning, so Sam. <laughs> Hey guys, this is the coolest thing ever right now. We are looking at a giant ship. Got Mr. Riley here. He's one of the organizers. Uh, what are we looking at right now? Because this is so neat. So this is the uh, battleship Admiral Graf from World War II. Um, it's over 30,000 Lego bricks, over 12 feet long. It's one of the new pieces we have this year. This is the, one of the cooler things. 30,000, more than 30,000 bricks involved in this. And this is all going to be part of one of the booths you guys have here. Um, people can meet their favorite creators, including the guy who created this. Mm -hmm. um, you know, this is such a cool thing. These Lego creators have become celebrities to some, uh, to some degree, uh, to a large degree. Um, how... How many people you got coming? How many people are going to be here? Over uh, a do dozen different creators. And this piece here is part of the Bricks at War uh, booth, new for this year. And it's going to be all military, all custom Lego military and history. So it's going to be, it's all about, there's going to be something like Lego George Washington, Alexander Hamilton, uh, uh, soldiers from World War II, World War I, Civil War. It's all going to be here at this booth. Now, you're holding a, 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 a if you, if you know, you know, a minifig. And this is kind of a cool one because you're not going to find this anywhere. You're not going to find that at the Lego store. You're not going to find that at Target, Walmart. It's a custom minifigure, collectible custom minifigure from Bricks at War. Um, again, all new for this year, and they sell m custom military Lego. Yeah, because Lego doesn't do military. They don't do that. And, you know, I get it. It's all good. But this is the coolest thing, and there are going to be a ton of stuff just like this. And plus, you can get sets that you're not going to find at the Lego store. You're not going to find here. All made with what I'm assuming are Lego pieces. It is the coolest thing, guys. This is a really neat event. It is a timed event. It's Saturday. It's Sunday. There's two sessions both days. Hit me with the times of the sessions. 10 to 1, 2 to 5. 10 to 1, 2 to 5, both days. You can find tickets to all four sessions on our website, WLKY.com. If you click on that As Seen on WLKY link, they're all there. Check this guy out. He's pretty neat. I love a minifig. Got a couple on my desk. This is very, very neat. We're going to be back with one of a Lego Master Artist. That's coming up around 6.20. We're in Sam's zone this morning. Yeah. Loving mm, I love it. Likes. Legos is, is ageless, really. I mean, having kids, Matt, you can you can say yeah. it is, it's something fun to do with them, for sure. We have no fewer than, like, 200,000 pieces. Oh.